Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to talk about this really disturbing case and it's coming from messy ass Missouri. So what's going on is that we have this two trailer trash couple. Yes, I caught them trailer trash. You want to get in your feelings? I don't give two shits, okay? So what's going on is these two damn meth heads decide to cook meth and get high for upwards of 38 hours. But in that 38 hours, they have a two-year-old child, okay? The child's name is Brayden Barnes. So they decide to put Brayden, who is two years old, in his crib. And because it was kind of chilly that night, they decide to turn on the space heater, okay? So they turned on the space heater to keep little Braden warm. The problem is that they left this little boy in the room with the space heater on for 38 hours straight, which is equivalent to three days. So for three days, neither one of these meth heads checked on this little boy. They didn't bring him a bottle. They didn't bring him a sippy cup. They didn't change his diaper. They, they assumed they heard some noise coming from the bedroom, but because they were so high, they just decided it was their imagination and they never went to go check in on the little boy. The little boy ended up having reverse hypothermia, meaning that his body heat rose as opposed to him freezing from being too cold. His body heat rose. Just like when you keep a child locked in a hot car, and they end up dying from the heat in the car. The same thing happened to this little boy. This story is just so disgusting and so disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Very disturbing case of abuse and neglect that led to the death of this baby. And now his parents, the mother and father, are facing charges. Two-year-old Brand Braden Barnes was already dead when first responders arrived at his home on Sunday morning. The mother, 22-year-old Kathleen Peacock of St. Charles, the father, 25-year-old Lucas Barnes of St. Charles, both now charged with child abuse and manufacturing methamphetamine. The prosecutor says the couple went on a weekend drug binge starting Friday night at their home at the Elm Point Mobile Home Village. The two-year-old was in a back bedroom where a space heater was running constantly. The child went unattended for 38 hours until the mother checked on him at about 11 o'clock Sunday morning. The evidence also shows that uh, he was placed in a back room in his crib. In that room, there was a space heater that uh, did not have an on-off switch. And the autopsy revealed that the cause of death was hyperthermia, which was uh, a drastically increased body temperature due to excessive exposure to heat. A prosecutor, uh, Tim Lomar, also says the mother, Kathleen Peacock, is facing, had already been facing, a charge of child endangerment for driving drunk with that baby in the car. Authorities also said she is currently pregnant. In All right, so you guys I'm just dead. saw that news clip, you know, and I think the thing that bothers me the most is that this bitch is pregnant again. Why is it that the folks who do not need to be having children are the most fertile motherfuckers on the planet? I swear. The ones who don't need not one child can have two, three, four, five, and six kids. It makes no sense. You guys can't even take care of this two-year-old properly that you guys go three days without checking on him and checking on his well-being. He's literally a few feet from you guys, and she has a nerve to be pregnant again and smoking meth while pregnant. It's like it just just makes no sense. It's like common sense is an X-Men strength or something like that. It just seems like common sense is just something that's just not around nowadays. You know, just makes no sense how they thought that this was logical. You know, granted they're high out their mind, granted they're meth heads, but a lot of people get high, but they still have enough common sense to take care of their children, to at least check on their child after an hour, let alone 38 hours total. I mean, it just makes no sense what's so damn ever. Missouri, I'm gonna need y'all to lock both these trailer trash meth heads up and throw away the damn key okay anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you guys feel about this entire situation what do you think should happen to these idiot ass parents who decide to lock a baby in the room for almost three days with no water no food no nothing but they manage to keep them warm by having the space heater turned up on high this entire situation is just so so disturbing so anyways go ahead and leave a comment let's get the discussion popping all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovely t com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces